We're here in Palmetto Dunes at 7 Rum Row and this is just coming on the market for $1,275,000. It's a three bedroom, three bath. It can be expanded. Uh, this is just a look down at the surrounding homes and um, here's the home itself. From what I, I have read and, and um, I've talked to the, uh, to the listing agent about this section over in here could be expanded and have um, another bedroom added. You have access back around this side to the, to the pool. They have a new roof, nice garage doors. They've done some painting and work to the, to the trim and to the, um, it looks like to the foundation as well. This had been on the market a couple years ago and uh, I remember being in it and it needed some work. In fact, I had someone that made an offer on it. So I rem remember the, the home well and they've definitely made some improvements over the last little bit here. Um, so you come in and just have, have this nice look out through, uh, but you could for sure connect this and have a, an interior patio if you wanted to. Um, but they, they just have it as a little landscape area. Older floors in here that they've refinished and they, they look nice. Um, nothing, certainly nothing, nothing wrong with them. The closet here, it's currently on the rental market. So these closets and cabinets and things will be empty, but a, a nice size room. That's nice and open to the kitchen and dining area. If you wanted gas, you certainly could have, the, with it being elevated, you could have gas run for the cooking and then you have the double oven here. And microwave on the island here. They have this little extra seating on the back side. You could probably do a table here as well if you'd like to. And this is a wood burning fireplace with the book bookcases on on either side. I think you could also create some more seating back here as, as well. You could pull this whole this whole thing back a little bit, do and get a little bit more seating, although this is nice and, and works well just the way it is. We'll go back and look at the laundry in just a second, but let's go outside for a moment where they're doing some pool cleaning. This is a nice screen porch out here overlooking the golf course. Nice pool, although I do think that it, need, it may need to be resurfaced um, at some point sooner than later and they are at the right price, they're willing to give a, a credit for that. The lot is really lovely. Tucked in, nice and private. And ni nice, uh, nice space on that, the screen porch, as well as the backyard itself, between the deck and the, and the pool area. This is the uh, ladies tea box right out here, just FYI. So let's go on back. Little desk area over here. Nice big pantry in here. This goes out to the garage, which is owner only. I don't have a key for that, but a nice, laundry room with a sink and plenty of cabinets and storage back here. Let's go over and have a look at the bedrooms. We've scraped all the ceilings, left the dental moldings. Come back here. This is a and a shiny tile floor. Newer vanity. And a 
updated shower. And a nice size room in the front here. Nice private suite. And then you have another, another bedroom. Same floor and then very similar bath. This one with a tub. That vanity doesn't really... Hmm. That vanity top looks a little purple to me, but other than that, it's, it's fine, it's nice. And in here, you, re you really... You probably could do bunk. You, you could do more with this room from a, a sleeping standpoint than the way they have it. I think you could do do a bunk bed over here and then another another bed against against the wall and then perhaps mount a TV over here just to be able to get a little bit more lip oops. A little bit more living space. Gotta get rid of that rug. I've tripped over it three times. Um, storage here. And then they have they have a they can't call it a bedroom for sure because it has no egress, but this could be a great little office area or overflow bunk room that is attached to this half bath. And then last but not least. master bedroom they didn't scrape the popcorn ceilings in here I'll have to look at the other bedrooms and see if they did if they did anything in the other bedrooms with the popcorn big closet in here as well as two secondary closets. So you really could do these two secondary closets and leave this as a as an owner's closet. in these other bedrooms. You do have access, by the way, to the outside. From here, you have the screen porch right across, and then this comes right out onto a little, pri little patio off the master. They have their grill out here. Nice yard. gutters, which are always nice. Just have to make sure somebody cleans them out. If they, well, they have gutter guards, it looks like. So it looks like that bedroom and this one. So you might have to have to do the popcorn in the bedrooms, but that would be about it. And that from what I've been told is about 275 a square foot to do the deep popcorn and paint. So here you have it. I hope this helps. It's, it, it's definitely a nice home and um, I'll get some details if you're interested on the possibilities of expanding over the garage uh, to give some even, even more space. Thanks so much.